We recently went up to Capitol Hill to ask Representative Glenn Grothman, what are you reading? Well, the book I'm reading right now is kind of timely, and I didn't realize how timely it would be, is Gosnell, which is the story of Kermit Gosnell, the horrible abortionist from Philadelphia who went to prison for killing children born alive. Um, I say it's timely because I didn't realize when I got this book that allowing close to children to be born alive would be a possibility under bills endorsed by the governor of New York and the governor of Virginia. I was reading this book as I was preparing to listen to President Trump's speech last night. So I got a good two and a half hours in on the book and President Trump wound up talking about late-term abortions in the speech. It's interesting because Kermit Gosnell predicted that he was the wave of the future and that someday he'd be vindicated. And I took that to mean that someday he felt that it would be okay in this country to kill children born alive. And while that's not exactly what those bills said, it was about as close as you can get, given what those two governors said. So I would, I would strongly recommend this book. There is a movie on the, on the book. I watched the movie, but as frequently happens, you really don't know what's going on unless you read the entire book. I usually spend about three hours a week on an airplane. The answer is I usually take my Bible out back and forth. I usually read something from the Bible on the airplane. Lately, it's a very short book, but I'll recommend reading uh, Paul's letter to the Philippians, which has some very sunny language in the end and a reminder that we should always focus on what's good. I also earlier this year read The Intimidation Game, which is a great book by Kimberly Strassel, talking about the way the left today tries to intimidate conservative people, particularly using the power of government. And that's very timely when you consider the abuses coming out of the FBI today. All right, and what uh, books are on your future reading list? Well, we're looking to read something about history, and I think I'm gonna to try to find something about the era between the Revolutionary War and the Civil War. We want to hear what you're reading. Send us your list on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at BookTV.